That's right, I am doing a video and it is not Super Mario related this week. I told you I was going to try and keep the same content going as usual, and this is no exception. This is one of the new things I wanted to start doing on the channel, which is community worst to first. So, let's get into it. Okay, so for all you people that don't remember the worst of first from before, I used to do these on the channel when it was very, very, very small, and it was basically me going through a tie a set of CMF series and picking out my worst to first, obviously. But now we're getting a little bit bigger and I've got some more people in the community and stuff, we are now gonna start doing it as a community one. So this is the first one I've ever doing this, and I am so, so, so happy the amount of people that actually commented and actually went into the Survey Monkey and actually assessed their worst to first to bring you this list. So if you want to do this, on the next one I think we're going to be doing the Mario blind bags, but for this one we're going to be looking at Series 4. Okay, so as we go through them I'm going to kind of say whether I kind of agree with you guys or not, or whether, you know, I did vote, I put on the Survey Monkey as well, so my votes have gone in too, but they might not be the same as obviously my list because all you guys voted, and I just can't believe how many guys actually did that, it's absolutely incredible. But starting a list, what do we all think? Ooh, well, it is the Surfer Girl. Okay, so I can completely get why you guys said the Surfer Girl. I mean, we have so many surfers in these CMF series, it's, it's pretty boring right now. The only thing that really saves her is the actual principal surfboard. I mean, she's got pretty cool uh, actual, you know, surf gear, but even nowadays she's got no back printing or anything like that. I know she's old, which is forgivable, but, you know, saying that, who cares, it's a surfer. So let's get on to the next one. So I'll put her now. At the bottom, that's right, I've got a little podium that I'm going to be doing. So, you can see which ones are left and which ones are in the podium. So, she's last on the list. Okay, so coming in at number 15, I've got my list over here as well, is one that I was actually a little bit thinking, curious on. I, I would have had a much higher, but it is the Viking character. Now, I think this one might be just due to the fact that this guy really does suck compared to the new Series 21. His head is really obviously not historically accurate or anything. It's a little bit loose as well. Mine doesn't quite clip on. I don't know if that's just because he's old or not. Uh, he's just got a pretty plain axe as well. But his uh, his actual little shield bit's pretty cool. And that does look fairly accurate. Has little dragon pieces on and some bits of rope and stuff, which is pretty nice. And his torso looks pretty cool. And he does have leg printing, which not all of these characters do. So, all in all, I think he was a pretty good one back in the day. But obviously you guys voted. So he goes at number 15. Okay, number 14, number 14. This one I kind of, yeah, he's got no accessories or anything like that, and it is the monster, or Frankenstein, which is basically his actual name. I can kind of get why you guys chose this one. Series 14 really wasn't very successful either when that came out, and basically this guy just has that really cool hat piece. I call it, basically it's a hat, but it's obviously to create the Frankenstein-looking big forehead. It looks pretty cool, but has no printing on the legs and only front printing, obviously, on the torso. So, yeah, I kind of get it. He's not the greatest minifigure going, but he was still pretty cool at the time. But he is in at number 14. So that is the bottom three. So coming in at number 12 is one that, yeah, I kind of agree with, is the Sailor. So this guy is pretty plain. Again, no leg printing at all. His accessory is pretty poor because obviously we see these now all the time, but it isn't a unique color. color. You guys let me know in the comments down below if this is actually a color that's only for this one because I have not seen it in this color before, but maybe that's just me. Uh, I've used to collect a lot of Star Wars. Only this year I've really been collecting other things, so it might just be that I haven't seen it before. It does have back printing, but it's very, very plain, obviously, because it's basically all white. And this little sailor hat's pretty cool, the fact that it's on an angle, and it does have one eye closed, so you can kind of pull the, uh, the telescope up to his eye if you wanted to, to kind of create the fact that he's looking through it, but it doesn't really work, not as well as, like, the camera or anything. So, he is in at number 12. There we go. Okay, in at number 11 is probably another one that I agree with, the Musketeer. Now, I said this when I opened the packs last week. This guy's just not as cool as Captain Hook. His hair piece is pretty cool, you know, the hair hat, but it just doesn't look as cool as the one that we've got with Captain Hook. Again, he's got quite a cool face. Uh, you know, he's, he's not too bad. The actual printing on his chest is quite nice, and he does have leg printing. Again, not all of them have this, but the rappel or, you know, the fencing sword that he has, it just... Yeah, it's pretty plain nowadays. I mean, I've got about 20 of these on the Haunted House, so they just haven't aged that well with time. Again, no back printing or anything, which is pretty common in most of these characters. But yeah, so he is in at number 12. Okay, in at number 11 is one that's a little bit weird to put on a stand, and it is the Ice Skater. 
Now, I put her on this little piece. This doesn't come with the character. It's just literally to show you because uh, these are new, obviously, when the DC ones came out. So I thought it's a great way to display these ones that have the ice skates on. But other than that, she has a cloth piece, which does look pretty cool. She does have actually underwear under there as well. But um, she's got nice silver glittering on it, which is quite cool on her actual torso. And this hair piece is quite cool. I haven't seen this one that often, which is quite nice to see. And she does have a little bit of glitter on her face too. But other than that, I can see why Ice Skate is a little bit boring, not as like whimsical as a lot of the CMF series, so I kind of get that. So we'll put her in at number 11. Okay, so we're in the top 10. So it's getting a little bit harder now. We're narrowing it down. And in at number 10, which one do you reckon? Well, it is actually one that I was a bit surprised about, which is the werewolf. So this guy I really, really like. I think he's a great one. So I probably would have had him higher up on the list on my personal list. I think he was like number six, maybe. But um, all in all, he does have printed legs. I think that's quite cool. And I do think it looks pretty nice. The printing's quite nice on it. The uh, the different colored arms is pretty cool because he's got like a white one and a brown one to show that he's like, kind of like burst out, kind of hulkish, which I think is pretty sweet. Uh, and I really do like his, his ears. I think they look great. They, are, they do look a little bit elven, maybe. I don't even know if this was an elven print, maybe from one of the Lord of the Rings sets, but... Other than that, I think he's a great minifig. Uh, the bone accessory, obviously, that's not the greatest accessory ever. But you guys said it, so he's in at number 10. At least he made his top 10, I suppose. Okay, it's getting narrower now. In at number 9, Ooh, we have the soccer player. Now, is it me, or does this guy look a little bit like me? I, I kind of think he does, weirdly. He's got a much more chiseled features, but he also has the terrible can't-grow facial hair like me. So... Yeah, maybe that should be my sig fig face. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this should be the, the face for my sig fig. But um, other than that, he has the same hair piece that I used to have on my sig fig. He has this really cool built trophy, which I think is really, really nice. And obviously that piece was originally out in the Sumo, I believe, from Series 1. Pretty nice piece. Obviously, it's a different color to that. Uh, and then he's got like a, looks like a droid head or something to connect it to. Quite a nice piece there. And I do really like how the fact that he's sponsored by Octan, I think that's great. Obviously, it's an in-joke, the fact that Octan's the gas company for Lego. I think that's really, really nice. And I do like the fact that they actually painted the side of his legs, which you don't see a lot of side printing on characters back then. But it's to show that he's got shorts, and obviously, triple molded wasn't a thing back then. So I think, all in all, he's a pretty good minifigure, actually. I do really like this one. Obviously, nowadays, they probably would have dual molded his arms because his shirt sleeves are a little bit too long. But other than that, I do think he's a good one. And he's in at number nine. Okay, we are halfway through. So, in at number eight, we have one of my favorites, actually, the Kimono Girl. Now, I think this one just looks absolutely incredible. The printing job on this is excellent. The fan piece is really nice. I've not seen that used since, but that's probably me again, because I don't collect these kind of figures in the past. I really like her white face, and it just does look really, really nice. And uh, she's got nice printing on the hair piece as well, and she has this really nice dress piece. Obviously, it's not the newer dress piece, it's more of a you know sharp angle, but it's really well printed. And even she has back printing, which is obviously her belt piece as well, which is really, really cool. So, she is in at number eight. Okay, which one is number seven? It's getting narrower and narrower. Let me know in the comments down below if your favorite's still in. Hmm. It's a little bit... Some of mine are still in, obviously, so that's good. But uh, in at number seven is... The Street Skater. Now, he would have actually been in my top three. I think I said that last week when I opened them. I think he's a really, really cool character. Maybe his face is a little bit too geeky, maybe, uh, to be like a cool Street Skater. But I really like the beanie hat with the printed uh, block on it. I think that's cool. His hoodie piece is great. And again, he has back printing as well. And to me, what makes this minifig is the skateboard piece. It's absolutely awesome. And I love the winged block. I think that looks absolutely great. And the white wheels are really nice as well. Nice addition to this kind of character because you don't see white wheel that often they're usually black so i think that's a great one but again he's in at number seven there we go so number six just out of the top five who is it going to be in at number six is the punk rocker now this guy is absolutely awesome his hair piece has been used a lot more since then but i haven't seen it using this pink as often but it's a really really cool piece i like the fact that he's kind of got this weird singing facial expression his uh his ripped vest looks really, really cool, and I love the skull piece on that. It's absolutely ace. And he's got really nice printed legs as well with these kind of these safety pins and stuff, making him look really, really punk. And his guitar is awesome as well. I love seeing these guitars printed. I really hate the ones that aren't printed. I just think they look awful, really, especially compared to these printed ones. Again, he's got no back printing, but he is an absolute awesome character. And he is at number six, just shy of the top five. 
Okay, so who just made it into the top five? Ooh, these are all great now. These are all really good figures. So, in at number five is The Artist. Now, this one is one of my favorites. Again, he is absolutely awesome. I love the little palette that he's got. The little paintbrush is used quite a lot nowadays, but it was great when it came out on this guy. Again, he's got no back printing at all, but his little goatee and his <laughs> little French beret, I think, is absolutely awesome. He's splattered with paint everywhere, and I love the little kind of crevasse thing he's got on as well. Just great. And being an artist myself or a graphic designer, I see these kind of people walking around all the time, so it's great to see him in minifig form. But he is in at number five. There we go. So, number four, who is it going to be? Okay, so in at number four is the hockey player. Now, this guy is really, really cool. He's got so much stuff on him, I'm going to have to take some of it off to show you the details of this guy, but he has the flip-up hockey mask, which is awesome. Really aggressive-looking face, which is great. He has the pop puck, which is just basically a standard stud, but that works absolutely great for this. The white hockey stick looks absolutely amazing. And then he even has this really cool molded kind of armor piece that they use, obviously, in the in playing hockey, and it looks great. Underneath, there's no printing on it at all, but he does have printed leg pieces, which is really nice. And I think this piece is probably super rare to get now with the Wolf logo on it and stuff. It looks absolutely incredible. So that is the hockey player. He's probably the one with the most stuff on him, to be honest. And he is a pretty nice character to have. But he is in at number four, just shy of the top three. So here are the top three. Now, I'm really surprised that this guy is in the top three, to be honest. But it is the scientist or the crazy scientist. Now, he is pretty cool. I like the hip flask kind of thing he's got. The uh, I think that's really nice. His hair piece is a little bit horrible because it's like that really rubbery kind of friend's hair piece. But he does have the really nice mad glasses and stuff. I think that's great. And he does have the nice painting. His legs are really weird because he has the waistband's actually white and then his legs are, are black. So they're not printed, but they do look pretty cool. And his actual, like, I don't know what you call it, like scientist overalls or something look really, really nice. And it does look pretty cool. The fact he's got that like, green splatter from the... Uh, the conical flask, I think that's great, but he has no back printing. So he's pretty cool. He wouldn't be in my top three, but you guys have spoken. So he is at number three. And let me know in the comments down below if you agree. And if you didn't vote, you could have had your say and he may have been further down the list. But here it is, the top two. Which one is your favorite? And is it the same as my favorite? Well, yeah, it is. And in at number two is the garden gnome. Now, this guy is absolutely great. I love him. He's got the, uh, the same kind of fishing rod as the guy from Series 1, which is just an awesome piece in and of itself. You can put a fish on the end if you wanted to, which is really nice. He's got this really cool green hat, which just looks like the ones from the, uh, the elves from Santa. I think that's absolutely great. And you can actually take off his beard, and he has a beard underneath as well, which is really, really funny. He does ooze of Christmas a little bit, but they've done just the right amount to make him really do look like a garden gnome. And I think it's absolutely great, especially with the small legs. He's a really, really cool character. So he is in at number two. So, rocking number one has to be, has to be. This guy is absolutely awesome. And it is the hazmat guy. Now, this guy is just so, so cool. I don't even know where to start with him. He is absolutely brilliant. He just looks like something out of uh, Stranger Things, which is just so funny. His uh, his facial expression looks really worried. So, obviously, he's spraying something that he, he's obviously not very happy with. Um, but he just looks great. And even if you take off that, he has the hazard kind of suit underneath as well. So, it's a really nice detail that they didn't miss out on. Uh, and he just looks absolutely fantastic. Again, he has similar legs to the Crazy Scientist, where it's like a black waistband and then yellow legs and i just do think it looks absolutely great and the fact that his little gun thing clips into the back of his suit as well really does finish it off and make it look really really pro so there you have it there are all the base plates we'll move them out of the way but this is the this is your this is your list this is what you guys voted for so let me know in the comments down below if you agree with this if you would have had some differently or whether you you know, you wouldn't have had the hazmat guy at the top or, or you know, maybe the surfer was your favorite and she was number 16. I don't know. I think all in all, I think you guys did a pretty good job. I think hazmat guy is great. Definitely the garden gnome. I'm not too sure on the crazy scientist. I maybe would have had someone else. Like I said, I really like the street skater and I think the soccer guy and the kimono girl maybe would have been a bit higher as well for me. But other than that, I think you guys did an absolutely awesome job. And for the first one, absolutely brilliant. So like I said, I think next week or the week after when I, have a, I get them, I think we'll do the worst of first of the blind bags for the Mario series. So what I'll do is I'll do a video first 
opening them all up like I did before. We can go through them and see them there. Then I will link the survey monkey in that video. You guys will have a week to vote and then we'll see what the outcome is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this format. Let me know in the comments down below if you preferred this way of doing it. I think it's really cool now the fact that we're growing as a channel and as a community that we can kind of all get involved and do the worst of first together. So I'm really, really happy with this video and I think it's an awesome, awesome thing to do. But if you guys find these boring, let me know and I'll stop doing them. But other than that, have an absolute awesome day. If you enjoyed the vid, then if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep bricking it.